Hey guys, this is Deshanta B. Oh, did you see that little spade come out of my mouth? I did. Guys, I am coming from the gym. Hold on one second, let me cut this off because I don't need no copyright infringement because I am not sharing my two coins with nobody. <laughs> guys, it's Deshanta B. I'm leaving the gym and let me tell you something. Hey guys, I'm so sorry. Um, I got a call take it but um i think i was saying how wonderful i was feeling from coming to the gym did you work out today did you get up get up and do something get up and move around i don't care if you can only go a couple of feet just get up and move just like my grandmother told me and she kept telling me you have plenty of time to be still when you're dead and gone okay but guys, I just want to say hello. How are you doing? To all my new subscribers, I just want to say thank you and welcome. And I hope that you enjoy the ride. You guys are joining like crazy, which is confirmation to me that maybe I am doing something that you really enjoy. And also to my DB family, debonair and beautiful, you know how I feel about you. Stop playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I ain't trying to be fresh or nothing because I don't need nobody coming after me. Too. Why you throw a kiss at my husband? I'm throwing a kiss at all of the DBs because I am so happy and I enjoy this YouTube channel. Speaking of which, I want to give a shout out to... I've been meaning to do this, but guys, I'm so unorganized right now. And every time I start something, I get knocked back. 22 steps I take three steps and I get knocked back 30 steps just like everybody else right just like everybody else that's out here on the grind but I want to give a shout out to Australia Libby and Liam hey guys how are you thank you so much for joining my channel watching my channel enjoying the content that i put up and you know something i got to tell you if you're gonna be using my sayings you got to put some stank on it you understand you got to be like you know what time it is stop playing that's why you got to do that put that lip up there stop playing <laughs> but i'm so glad and i'm so humbled by your comment I hope that I continue to keep you as DB family and I just wanted to give you a shout out. I've been meaning to give a lot of you a shout out. GW and Willow and Carmel, Carmel Diva 7. It's so many of you that I want to say hi to and in the upcoming videos I will definitely make it a point to say hello. But guys, uh, my YouTube channel is under construction right now. Um, I have so, so many new things coming up for you, merchandise and just a lot of things because those of you that went to my GoFundMe account, thank you, number one, for those of you that went and shared my uh, little spiel, you know, what my bio is on there because that's good networking. And I just want to say that I appreciate you taking the time to switch to that page read my bio and share it guys I appreciate the smallest the smallest of things you don't have to do anything gigantic for me to say thank you it could be the smallest minute thing and I'm paying attention so thank you thank you thank you and I have some merchandise coming out I'm working on my cookbook there's a lot that I have going on and I'm so glad that you guys have invited me into your home into your life and i really really do appreciate it now what i want to say to you is this you know that i can't leave this little video without leaving you a message i am going to directly i need you to come in front of the computer screen or your phone or whatever whatever you are looking at right now because I am talking I am speaking to you each and every one of you I need you to do something for me do I have your attention it's free it doesn't cost you anything you don't have to go out your way I need you to do me a favor I need you DBs my DB family 
to think about this and to put it into practice. You know, all of the time and effort and sweat and tears, your spiritual, your physical, your mental, your emotional, that you put into your family, you put into your children, you put into your job, you put into friends and associates, all at 350% that you put into them. I now want you to take one eighth, one eighth today and invest in you. Yes, I want you to take some of what you give out so freely to make sure that everyone else is taken care of. I need you to pull a little bit of that back and give it to yourself. Don't worry, I know I've heard it before. You know, treat people the way that you want to be treated. But what about you treating you the way that you need to be treated? Give yourself a hug today. Give yourself a kiss. I know a lot of you probably saying, oh, she here she go. Here she go with that. Give yourself a hug. Give yourself a kiss. But whom can treat you better? Who, know, who knows you better than yourself? So if you start incorporating some of that love and trust and all of that that you give out to everyone and nine times out of ten, you don't always get it back. I ain't going to sit here and lie. Start giving it to yourself. Start falling in love with yourself. You have a purpose. You have a reason that you're here. And it's not always to give everything to everyone else. Yes, it looks good because they'll say, well, you know, DB over here, I can count on her. And DB over there, I can count on him. But what about what you need, your needs, what you need to be fulfilled? I guarantee if you start doing that little by little by little, do you know how fulfilled you're going to feel? Do you know how much you're going to gain? because it's a win-win situation. So that's your homework. That's what I want you to do from now until never ever. Take some back, pull some back. You're not being selfish. I don't mean go out and spend money and buy this and buy that. I'm talking about that intangible factor. That which people can't see until you put it into action, until you put it into motion. Movement change your thinking work on you and you don't have to make a big declaration I am forever now going to flim flam and flam flam no take the time out and write down your pros and your cons of what you like about yourself and what you don't like about yourself and be honest and put down what you need to feel complete trust and guarantee, I trust me and I guarantee when you start requiring this type of love and satisfaction and fulfillment for yourself, you start doing it. Everything and everyone around you will change because you're going to start gravitating to people that feel the same way. You're going to start being in the right place at the right time, saying the right thing to the right people and the right people appreciating who you are. So I'm just saying, it was on my mind in the gym. You don't necessarily always need to be defined by other people or what you do or what you wear. Sometimes the definition is staring you right back in that mirror. So today, DBs, your homework is just take a little, little bit and say, you know what? I'm always there for that one. It's not being narcissistic. It's not being selfish. You are all that you have. This is a one-time journey. So if you don't take the time to say, you know what, this is what I require to feel fulfilled. This is what I need for me, governed and given by me. How can you lose? So guys, before I go, I just wanna, uh, just wanna say this. I've been seeing uh, DB subscribers, you know, y'all are crazy. Y'all cray cray. Y'all come up, y'all hug me, y'all squeeze me. You know, I'll be thinking maybe y'all be checking for my wallet and stuff, but I, you know, I don't mind. Just, you know, don't squeeze so hard. You know, I'm a big girl. You just, 
just take it easy. Let's do a fist pound. We could do that. You ain't got to always fill me up, but it's okay. It's okay. I understand. But um, a couple of subscribers asked me, asked me to address a couple of questions. And I'm probably going to do maybe just one right now or two. Um, one of which was, why, Deshanta, why, why? Why do you always wear sunglasses in your video? And I heard a lady on YouTube many, many years ago. She said, video. So I'm using it, girl. Why do I always wear sunglasses in my videos? One, guys, I live in Florida. There is sun 495 days out the year. 39 hours a day. Even when it is cloudy, and you know I'm telling the truth, the meteorologist will say, be careful because you can still get burned. I have a sensitivity to the sun. So anywhere there's sun, I get migraines, yada yada, blah, 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 whatever. And I suffer from severe, severe, did I say severe? Severe sinusitis, migraines, and I tend to get dark underneath here and swelling and my cheeks swell up all of this swells up i get ear infections you know you didn't ask me all of that but i'm telling you that's how bad the uh, sinus infections become so it's better for me to protect my eyes and when like right now we're about to get into summer hardcore summer i'm probably going to be in the house a lot or just go from one spot to the other but guys, I appreciate you when I see you in the street. Just don't squeeze me so hard, okay? You're going to make me pee. Who needs that? We don't need this. This is Deshanta B again. And before my camera goes out for the third time, um, I just want to let you know, just in case you haven't noticed, I love sunglasses. And if there are any sunglass companies that would love for me to do a review for you, my P.O. Box address is listed in my description box. I would love to do a review for you okay guys you know what I'm about to say you know what time it is make time to love on yourself today and start treating others and being an example and showing others of how they should treat you and what you're not gonna put up with and stop playing bye guys